I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a walrus, another tundra animal. I come over here on the left hand side, two fingers, underneath I put a dot. And from that dot, going towards the right, I'm going to draw a big curved line down and down and leave it floating. Come back up, curve line down, down, leave it floating. Come back up, curve line, curve line, curve line down, curve line up and leave it floating. Come right about here in the center and put a dot. And we're just going to draw another curve line, curve line up and connect. Come back to the dot up here at the top. Starting towards the right, we're going to draw a curve line down, out, curve line in, up, in, out, up, connect. Okay? Come back over here on the far right. We're going to go one, two, three curved lines. Come over here. We're going to go one, two, three curved lines. And over here, one, two, three curved lines. Come all the way back up to the dot. Right underneath, put another dot. <clears throat> Going towards the left, we're going to draw a curved line out, down, wavy line over. Leave it floating. Come back to the dot. Curve line down, wavy line over, and connect. We're going to come right towards the center and just draw a curve line over, connect, and on top put one dot, two dots. Inside this space, just put some little dots. And now on the left, we're going to draw a big curve line down, up, connect on the left, and a big curve line down, up, connect on the right. Okay? Now come over here on the left and just draw a slightly wavy line, jump over, slightly wavy line. All right, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, there's not too much to color on this walrus. We're going to take our black and color in our noses, our nose I should say. We're going to take a brown and color in this space, this muzzle, light brown. And if you have a gray crayon, this is all walrus. You can color this all in. If you don't have a gray, you can use your black and color it in very lightly. Or you can even use a brown or a tan and color it in very lightly. But this walrus is just mounds and mounds and mounds of gray space. So that's all of him. Now, once you've done that, get your fat blue crayon and you're just going to fill in the background with some blue color to represent the snow. Again, these tundra animals, there's not a lot of color on them. So in order to see them a little bit better, use that blue crayon. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my walrus all colored in, ready to hang out in the tundra. Okay, bye-bye.